I'm so excited guys. So um, it's the first week of August. Today is August 2nd and it is Wednesday. And we got cookie crumbles. I couldn't resist because the flavors they have for the week are absolutely scrumptious and delicious. So um, let's see what we got. So of course I got the milk chocolate chip. Um, that's the written, no, this one is the, yeah, I got the milk chocolate chip and the mom's recipe. Uh, those are the originals. We definitely got the French toast. Look at the French toast, y'all. It literally looks like a French toast. Um, they also had a flavor which was called the salted, um, caramel, um, cheesecake, but I didn't get that one, um, because I was nervous it wasn't going to taste good. Um, we, I got two of the apple crumble cake um, because I know that's going to be so good. Hopefully it tastes like an apple pie. And then they have the blue monster, which is featured by the um, the Chip Ahoy. So, yes, y'all, me and the kids, we're about to dig into this. And I love cookie crumbles. I had tried the other spot, a cookie, I forgot what it was, cookie monster, cookie. Let me not even butcher the name, but I'm going to start in a picture of the other cookie place. Guys, I will absolutely forever if I need to get like a real a cookie to crave my to um curb my sugar craving is gonna be from Cookie Crumble and they close at eleven at night. So yeah, y'all. If you have Cookie Crumble in your neighborhood, no, this is not sponsored. Try them. It will it will satisfy every sweet tooth craving that you have. All right, y'all. So I'm back home. I went to Ross to go return a pair of pants that I had bought the other day. And I know I got a carpet uh, from Walmart the other day, the chocolate brown carpet that I showed you guys in my other vlog. But while I was walking through Ross, I found this pretty color carpet. It's a six by nine and it was only $39.99. So I had to get this. I think I am obsessed with carpets because I probably get at least six different carpets a year and then end up throwing away the other one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to take up the brown carpet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably put it in the dining room for now or I'll probably just put it as an area rug in my bedroom because the colors that my bedroom is going to be is going to be like this chocolate brown black and then just like some really earth tone colors um, so yeah let's lay this baby down first we gotta move this table out the way This is one inch bigger than the brown one that I have. But the color is stuck. <laughs> yeah. There goes there. Every time I get a new carpet, it does this. Brightens up the space. It's so pretty. Look, y'all. 
of this color in it, which is so pretty. This color is so beautiful. These are like the earth colors that I'm talking about. Bear, stop running around like a maniac. Bad boy. Okay, I'm going to fix this up. Now so I'm gonna do my nails guys I got I found these in a dollar store I thought they were really cute just to kind of throw on to soften off my soften up my hands um so it has 12 pieces the brand is seven nails it's just from the dollar um tree and this is what the design looks like they were very short and I just love the um the shape of them coffin i don't like my nails square anymore um yeah so i kind of just wanted to 12 pieces i don't think this is enough but we're gonna have to make it work so i'm gonna go ahead and do that that looks nice and it's very short i should use the gel glue i might use the gel glue Because it does last a little bit longer. So yeah. For this, all you got to do is just brush it on. It doesn't really last that long. Nor do these press-on nails. That's what I don't like about them. Because I do a lot of housework. A whole lot of housework. And then you just put them under the light. And just press it down so it doesn't get those air bubbles. I got some air bubbles in it. I should have got some acrylic to um, harden the nail. Because these press-on nails, they do bend. Any brand, they'll start to bend if you do like a lot of washing of dishes, washing your hair, just any... Uh, type of hard um, housework or labor work with your hands they start to bend and they break so um, it's really something like if you want to go out for the night you just put them on and you don't really care if it comes off the next day because last week I did my nails like I said I was gonna do but then I was cleaning and they just all started to break but that's how it looks and then I'm going to do the rest and come back on and show you guys. But the length is really nice. I'm going to put the gel over it. Just so it can harden it. Because look how weak it is. But yeah, it's nice. So I got all the nails on. Uh, for nails, from press on nails from the dollar store. I think they, I did a good job. I finally was able to get them on, get them on straight. Usually it's a struggle for me and uh, they come out curved or twisted. But they went on. The only thing I would say I don't like is the fact that they didn't have enough sizes in the box. So I had to make that work. And then um, all the nails had have a design on it. Um, I wish it was just probably like one or two. And then the rest were just like that plain uh, bubble gum pinkish color. But they all have the design on. But I think I did a good job for right now. And I'm going to just round them off because I don't like the coffin. In. I like them pointy. And then I'm just going to buff them so it'll be smooth. And that's it.
The balance between the problem solving and the universe working itself out. All that I have is all that I need but to actualize it. I can't doubt, no doubt. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind. So what I made here was some yuca. I love yuca. When I tried it at the Dominican salon, the Dominican restaurant in New York, ever since then, I've been obsessed with yuca. So I just boiled it with some chicken cube, which has a lot, of, which is already seasoned and flavored. And then I sauteed the onions. And some coconut oil, you know, coconut oil is what I use, or olive oil. And then just pour it over the yuca. And this is how it looks.
already know is that time to dish some of this food out. My rice cooked in the rice cooker so you know it came out perfect. I'll put some butter on it after it's cooked. Put some butter on top of the rice. And this is just some like red kidney beans with ground turkey. well seasoned with jalapeno peppers, regular green peppers, and onions and garlic. They put some tomato paste in it to thicken up the gravy and for it to get its color. And then of course I love me some yuca. So I'm definitely going to put a yuca in here some onion so good the kids don't eat yuca so that's why I didn't make a lot of it I just made a very small portion of it that's it you my dinner let me get this out the way yeah it is good some yuca purple onion nothing like a homemade meal a lot of fiber and healthy I am super excited um, I just got my all black console table well I ordered a console a new console table from Walmart so we're gonna open this up together it's not as big as the other one the other one um, I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace, so the woman um, who's going to buy it is going to come tomorrow at 2 p.m., so I'm glad that I was able to sell that. So let's open this up, see how this looks. The box looks really little, so I'm kind of nervous. Instructions. This is what it's supposed to look like. So small. So it should be very easy to put together. So I'm excited about that part. me more than 30 minutes to put together, probably less. It looks like it's going to be very thin. I didn't know it was going to be that thin, but the same material of the coffee table, the same material As this console table, so I guess that's at least good. I'm not sure it was the same color as the. There no. Just as fast as I opened up that box, I crushed it down to go all the pieces out and pack it up because I hate having a mess. Clean up the mess after setting up furniture. I love when I'm putting, when I get these furniture pieces that I'm putting together, I like the fact that they come with the screws and 
the two to do it together with. Then no, don't touch it. When you're screwing these things together, you think the tighter you screw it, the better it's going to last and hold. But I've learned that when you screw it too tight, the crack the wood. Yeah, you end up cracking the wood. Definitely don't want to scratch it. It's pretty exciting. This is so easy to pick up, less to put together, less than 30 minutes. Why do I hear my neighbor's kids screaming from in here? The only thing I have left to get, guys, is my new bed frame and the TV console. And I know exactly what bed frame and TV console I want, so, and that's it. Not buying anything else for the house except new kitchen utensils. Okay, y'all, so I finished. It literally took me, I believe it was like 15 minutes to put it together. Um, I'm just taking off like the stickers on it. 
that have um, like marked on them the letters, so you know what pieces go where. I already swept there this morning when I moved the other, the old white comments out, but I'm just going to sweep again from any fine dust that came out of the box. Let me just get all this dust out of the way. And my other white, um, the white console table, the other one, I put it right here by the doorway, but like I said, I'm not keeping it. Um, the lady who wants to buy it from me is coming tomorrow at 2 p.m. to pick it up, so thank God. I got the package today, and someone's coming to pick it up tomorrow. So it won't be such an eyesore, because the first thing my son said to me was, Mom, where's the table? It looks empty here, it doesn't look right. It looked better when the table, white table was there, but he didn't see the new black table that I got yet. He just saw that it was an empty space and was like, Mom, that doesn't look good. So, let's put the black table there and get rid. And it's real lightweight too. How many of these things they put on here? Make sure I get it off so because they look crazy when you leave it on there and happen to see it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. What do you guys think? Look at it. And then I'm going to get two baskets, two really big um, brown baskets to put under here. Oh, I forgot to put the leg piece on it, the screws. So we're going to turn it back around. got to screw this, the legs on there. I love it. I think it's nice and simple. It's very modern. And that's my style of modern. Really good. Don't want to scratch the bottom. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get rid of the other one. I just can't do the white anymore. Because I noticed with the white furniture, like when you're moving or just touching it or when you place like your decor in it, they just get, get scratched up and then you can see it. Branches off of the wall. I'm just going to use a magic eraser. Let that dry. Then I'm going to put my decor on it and show you guys how that looks. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to start by putting some stuff on it. I'm going to look on Pinterest to get some really good ideas on how to decorate it. This is a vanilla fig um, candle, aromatherapy candle, and it has a whole bunch of, it has like one, two, three, four, five, six wicks inside of it. It smells so good. So good, y'all. And then of course, I'm gonna put my blessed jar. And then these are just like some candles. I think I got this like at a Marshall's. No, I got these both of them. I got all three of them from I want to say Ross's. That's probably not going to stay there either. But it's going to go there for now. And then, of course, my eucalyptus plant that I bought from Trader Joe. 
I actually got this two weeks ago and I haven't put, I took all the water out of it and it looks really good. The way it dried out, the way it's holding up, it looks so good. I'm definitely gonna buy another one. Um, yeah. So yeah, y'all, yeah, I don't know. I'm obsessed with having like family pictures all around the house of my family, my kids. Um, but sometimes it could be too much, so this is not going to stay here. What I want to do is a gallery wall, um, but I have to research the, the black frames that I want to make sure that I get a good pricing for the frames, and then what pictures I'm going to put inside of the frames. I want a nice gallery wall in the hallway. I think that will look so good. So good. Because they're dried out, it kind of... I don't want the kids to break that. But for now, I'm just going to leave this stuff here. I'm probably going to play around with it and keep changing it up. Yeah. I'm going to change things up. Of course, this thing is so cute. It says pray. I got this from Ross. It was $7.99. I think it's so cute. Every time I see it, it reminds me to just to pray. Even when I don't want to pray, pray. It's so pretty. Pray. Pray. There's a song that's going down on my knees. I'll pray to thee down on my knees. I'll pray to thee down on my knees. I'll pray to thee down on my I just totally made that up. I don't want to word pray. I cannot wait to get the baskets. I'm going to sort of picture of what the baskets are going to look like. That's going to go under here. It's going to be so pretty with the dining room table. Um, let me put it back to see if you can get like there goes the table and then that. It just looks good, y'all. Went back in um, to even up my hair because it was uneven and just to. Uh, cut down the sides well this side my right side to match my left side because see how the left side looks i had cut too much of the sideburns off but i did want it this low so they can grow back because i was getting sick of um the sideburn look and this side still had like sideburns if you can see so um i went in to try to even up the top and it looks really good also went in to cut the back I think I did a really good job I 
It's time to stop cutting. This is going to grow back real nice. Okay, y'all, so I just came back from running errands, and yes, this is going to be another Ross haul because I went in there to get the two baskets or in hopes to find two um, whisker decor baskets to put under the camels on the VM console and the entryway table unsuccessful wasn't able to find it so I'm gonna have to get that from Amazon but I forever wanted to get one of these um, it's one of this is a 10 pound um, holds up to 10 pound pet food bin and I think it's so cute because it has a picture of the dogs on it so everyone know like this specific bin is for dog food and I only paid $7.99 for it. There is a little dog so I don't need anything bigger than this. I was putting his food in here and then storing it in Ziploc bags but that was a waste of um, Ziploc bags so I could finally throw that container out. And then we put all the food in there. There he goes. Yes, there is the doors. Wow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I just need like a cute scooper. See, that's how much food he has in it. And then you just close it. Look there, like it. See, food goes in here. That's yours. O M G. Found this. I wish it was black. Um, it was $8.99. When I was searching everywhere to get a tray like this, so I can just uh, get some moss to put it in, to put it on the TV console when I get it. No lie, y'all, this was like $29.99 and up. And I got this for $8.99. So I'm going to spray paint this black, and I'm going to show you guys how I do that, just like I did my mirror and the dining room table. But this was a great find. And then, of course, because you know when I'm doing my little cooking vlogs, um, I needed some spoons and spatula. What is this? This is um sets of two silicone tools. Got this from Ross. It was $4.99 and it's very sturdy. It just feels so good. Yeah, this is nice. And it's a um, slotted turner, which would be this. And then this is a spoon. So this is called a slotted turner. Oh, no. I call it a spatula. And I thought this was so cute. This was $4.99. It's um by it's four prep bowls with lids, stainless steel. You know when they say something is stainless steel, most of the time it's not. And it's by Ellen. Um Ellen. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to butcher her last name. But you know, like the other day when I was making my meal, um I had to, you know, like when you want to store your sauces, say you chop up some onions, you chop up some garlic. Now I have like a little heat bowl that comes with a lid to keep it fresh that I can just store them in. And I think it's so cute. If I was a little girl and I was playing, and it says stuff on it, like this one says love. What does this one say? Love. I think they all say love, but it's cute. Like you can put your sauces in here. Like I said, when you chop up your onion, your tomatoes, or even when you cut half of your lemons for four dollars, this was a good deal. So I got four of those for four dollars and ninety-nine cents. There, we don't got nothing else for you. And then I needed some cha seeds. Okay, this expires May of two thousand and two thousand and twenty-six. Kosher. It was $2.99 from Ross. 
um, gluten-free, kosher, vegan, whole seeded. So I'm glad that it's 100% um, pure uh, chassis because I was going to get it from Walmart, Whole Foods, and it was like $8 and up a bag. So I got that for $2.99. And then they just have this um, random towel, 99 cents. It's a kitchen towel. I'm going to wash it before I use it though. What else did I get? And lastly, I'm going to get my basket from Amazon and my candle holders. I got this odor. It's odor and spot remover and the scent is on um, lemon verbatim. It was on sale for $2.99, I guess, because the spray bottle was broken, but it smells so good, y'all. This smells like a lemon. Mm, fresh. But yeah, that's all I got from Ross's. And of course, I'm going to keep all these bags. Nope, I got one more thing. I couldn't believe I found it. Some shampoo for bear, and it's mint and eucalyptus. So he's going to love this. Sorry for the lining, but he's going to really like this because it's going to feel really cool on his skin. Mint. Smell it, bear. This is your body watch. He's going to love that. I'm going to give him a bath tomorrow. And that's it, y'all. That's it. I got some really good stuff. All right. Talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all. So we're going to spray paint the bowl that I got from Ross in all black. I threw away the... I think I threw them away, which is dumb. But I'm going to use this plastic bag to spray paint it on. But this is the gold tray. I got it for $8.99. And we're going to spray paint this baby all black. Um, I should have enough spray. And it's going to dry down that. I hope you guys can see good. I'm going to let this dry for 20 minutes and then turn it over on the other side and spray it. Okay, so this is what this side is looking like. Um, it's still drying on the inside. I sprayed a little bit too much, I guess, but we're going to fix that with our second coat. But for now, we're going to um, do the other side. How did that happen? Pretty mm -hmm. too much. You know what it is? You can't spray it. You can't be too close to it when you're spraying it. I'm about to run to TJ Maxx. I'm going to let this dry. Now when I come back, I'm going to do the other side. This has to dry real good, especially because of the material.
Hey, hey, y'all. So it is Sunday, and yeah, it's Sunday. It's currently 1.08 um, a.m. in the morning. I am exhausted. I am tired. I am tired. I've been out literally all day long. I haven't drunk enough water today, so I have a slight um, little ache in my head. It's not a full-blown head headache, but usually when we do our Sunday devotionals, I'm on my balcony. It's nice and bright outside, but I'm up. I'm editing, editing the video that I am going to post in the morning at 8 a.m. So I'm like, you know what? Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up and let's do our Sunday devotional. So let's get into it. So our Sunday devotional is coming from Sarah Young. Jesus is calling, enjoying peace in his presence. You can get this at Amazon. You can get it at Walmart. I highly recommend this devotional. My pastor uh, gave it to me, Pastor Margaret. This book is amazing. And um, yeah, today is August 6th and it goes, when things seem to be going all wrong, stop and affirm your trust in me. Calmly bring these matters to me and leave them in my capable hands. Then simply do the next thing. Stay in touch with me through thankful, through thankful, trusting prayers, resting in my sovereign control because God is sovereign. Rejoice in me, exalt in the God of your salvation, Jesus Christ. As you trust in me, I make your feet like a I make your feet like the feet of a deer. I enable you to walk and make progress upon your high places of trouble, suffering or responsibilities. So God is saying that when we trust in him, he's going to enable us to walk and make progress upon high places of trouble, suffering, or responsibility. So when we go through trouble, when we're going through adversity, not all adversity is bad because some adversity that we do go through, it helps us to develop patience. It helps us to develop steadfastness. It helps us to be able to get through and to go through um, and be able to testify and help somebody else who's going through the same thing because we put our trust in God and we know that God can bring us out of all things and um, one of the scriptures um, for this devotional it is coming from the book of Job and it's Job chapter 13 let's go to it Job 13 and 15 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation so it says, God might kill me, but I have no, wait, okay. Why should I put myself in mortal danger and take my life in my own hands? God might kill me, but I have no other hope. I'm going to argue my case with him, but this is what will save me. I am not godless. If I were, I could not stand before him. Listen closely to what I'm about to say. Hear me out. I have prepared my case. I will be proved innocent. Who can argue with me over this? And if you prove me wrong, I will, I will remain silent and die. So this is just Joe pretty much um, just talking about his trust in the Lord and how he's being confident in the situation that he is in. And then we're going to go to Psalms chapter 18 verses 33. And it says, he makes me like a sure footed as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountains height. He trains my hand for battle. He strengthens my arms to draw a bronze bow. Hallelujah. So God's going to strengthen us. He causes us to, to rise and stand on high mountains over all the situations, suffering, the suffering and the troubling that we're going through. So, um, yeah, so that was the scriptures uh, from the devotional today. And then also I wanted to just dig a little deeper into it. And I went to my Prayers and Promise Wisdom book and it talks about trusting in God. And it says, those who know the Lord, trust him because he will not leave those 
who come to him. Again, God will never leave us or forsake us. He keeps telling us. He's not saying that we're not going to go through things because we live in a fallen world. So things are going to happen. But even though these things are happening in the life that we're living in this fallen world, just know that he will never leave us. He will always be with us through it all. And that's from Psalms 9 uh, verses 10. I trust in you, Lord, I say. You are my God. My whole life is in your hands. Save me from the hands of my enemies. Save me from those who are chasing me. And that's Psalms 31 uh, verse, verses 14 to 15. And then we have our last scripture. Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in, I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. Psalms 118 chapter, verses 7 to 8. So it is better to put our trust in the Lord than to put our trust in people. Because scripture tells us that um, all things are possible. All things. All things are possible with God. So we got to put our trust in him. And let's just say the quick, the prayer before we close out this Sunday vlog. This week's vlog. Christ, you are the cornerstone, a firm foundation as the solid rock upon which the entire church is built. It is evident to me that you are trustworthy. Your word is full of promises and prophecies about you as Messiah, all of which have been kept and will be fulfilled. The evidence is stacked in your favor. Wisdom tells me that you are a trustworthy God. With this in mind, I ask you to grow faith in me. There are areas that I don't yet trust you with. Show them to me and grow my faith to be able to give them to you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So we're praying that God will have us to grow in faith. And every area that we still have not surrendered or trust God fully and we still have our hands on. We're praying that, that God will show us and help us to go through and as our faith grows to be able just to give all those things to him because he's bigger than all things. He knows all things and all things that God has for us are good. So the question I leave you with for the rest of the week is how does wisdom help you identify who is trustworthy? So we got to ask God for discerning spirit. We have to ask him for discerning spirit. But anyway, I hope this that you enjoyed the vlog. I hope that the devotional blessed you. Ask God to reveal to you um, what he is speaking specifically for you um, for this week ahead. May he guide you and make your path straight. If you made it this far, God bless you. I thank you for all of my subscribers, everyone that supports. Leave your comments. Engage with me. Leave your comments. If you have prayer requests, leave your prayer request. I will pray with you. I'll add your name to the prayer book. Um, and yeah, I just love you guys and thank you for watching, share, follow, subscribe, um, and just bless somebody else, uh, with the devotional, share those scriptures with them, read the scriptures, meditate it. I'm going to link all those scriptures below. Anyway, have a great week. Love you with the love of Christ. Bye.